Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In these videos it is my intention to educate anybody who wants to learn about or improve their audio quality within YouTube videos. Although some things I talk about can be applied to other areas I'll be focusing on YouTube video development specifically. So in this video I'm going to talk about and show you how to split your audio into three streams using DxTory. Um, we're going to have audio from the game on one stream audio from your mic on another, and audio from TeamSpeak or Skype, whatever you want to use, on the third. And this is particularly good if you want to record something, but you're you're playing with your friends and you're talking, and you're going to have the game audio, but you're going to have everything mixed in uh, as well. And this just helps us separate that. And if you want to, you can add in the live commentary later. It just gives you the option to do basically whatever you want. Okay, so firstly, obviously, we're going to need DxTory. This is the pro only program that I've found that allows you to split your audio into however many streams you want, into I think up to eight, because that is um, however many channels the surround sound limits you to. So eight stereo streams is what it can record. So I've got these set up at the moment. So in the first one, I have my game audio. In the second one, I have my uh, my microphone, which is what I'm using to record now. And in the third one, I have the TeamSpeak or Skype audio. So DxTory is just a fantastic program. I'll go over that in another video. But for now, you need to load up DxTory, create your free streams, and then close it again, because later on, we're going to add stuff and it won't refresh or join in. So the only program other than your default things that you will need is called Virtual Audio Cable, and it can be easily downloaded. Uh, it's not a free program, but you can easily find it for free, a cracked version. It's not hard, it takes like two minutes of Googling uh, and downloading, so get that. When you get it, let me just go there, you will come to this folder, it will be Virtual Audio Cable, install it, and then open up VCCTL Plan and then set it up basically like this. You don't have to have it specifically like this, but this is the these are the settings that I've set it to. You don't need 48 kilohertz sampling rate um, because most of the time I've got my computer set to CD quality which is 44.1 thousand. So you can either set it to that or 44.1. This is currently DVD quality. But it doesn't really matter. Just set cables to, do all these settings and then set. Just click set and you are set up and this will create two basically cables for you to use. After that we're going to go into our Realtek Audio Manager. Most people should have this, I think you can install it if you don't anyway. Just to make sure everything's alright you have your speakers usually coming out the back um, and you'll be usually on this screen. So go to device, device advanced settings and make sure these are ticked like this. It's probably the default way, but when I was sorting this out last night about half one, in, you know, not half one, about one in the morning, yeah, I I, che I I played with everything quite a lot to get this to work, uh, so I can't remember if these were the default, but just make sure these are checked. Next up, you will need to go to your audio settings and set your speakers as the default device. The reason why I'm doing this is because I like to listen to my headset whilst I game, but what I'm doing now is it allows me to listen to both at the same time and it's extremely handy. So set your your speakers, your literal physical speakers that if you have them as your default device and uh, my headset is currently the default communications device, but really I'm not using it to communicate that much. So just Select that as your default device, then go to recording. So make sure whatever mic you want to record is set as your default device for recording. Then find stereo mix. Stereo mix, if it's not there, right click, show disabled drives and show disconnected drives. And then find it, click on properties. And then you need to go into listen. Listen to this device through your headset. What this is doing is, is letting you listen to whatever audio is coming out your PC through both your speakers and your headset at the same time. Now, 
I find this extremely handy anyway, just because I don't have to faff about with audio settings anymore. If I don't want to listen to the speakers, I literally physically just turn them down. The, the audio is still coming out of them, but you cannot hear it because it's turned down physically. And that is extremely handy for this, and it is key to how I'm doing this. So just make sure that it's checked. Um, make sure the levels are however you like them. Click OK. Now, when you created the this thing, oops, it's already running. Oh dear. Okay. So whenever you created this thing, you can exit out of that now. Um, this these should have popped up, and we're going to sort these out now. So going to audio repeater. I'm not sure which one to use. Um, I've used them both. They both seem to work. So it doesn't really matter. You need to go to wave in, line one, wave out, line two. And that's basically all you have to do. Like you can change the buffer to like 200 or if it's not. And if this is kind of like overflowing or underflowing, you can change the buffer to like 8. Hopefully it should help that. And then click start. So this is basically routing the sound. And that is where your TeamSpeak audio is going to be coming through. Next, we have to set up the TeamSpeak or Skype or whatever to go through that. So just load up whatever you want to use. I've got Skype here. Going to Tools, Options, and then Audio Settings. So basically, I've got my microphone, Yeti, going in. That's what I'm used to recording. But coming out, it is using Line 1. So make sure that is set to Line 1, not Line 2 or anything else, specifically Line 1. Click Save. You can minimize that. And that should be everything rooted into its proper place. So now we need to configure it in DxTory. Load up DxTory once more. And then just select your headset as one. So it will be recording the game sound. Select your microphone as two. And line one from virtual audio cable as three. And this should split it properly. I haven't changed any of these settings since I got it to work yesterday. So when you click record with DxTory on a game, it should, let me just go up here, split the audio, but it should have everything in one file, just ignore these for now. Everything will be in that file when you watch it. It should just have the game audio. But I've got it really quiet there, so yeah. So basically, everything everything's there, you just can't see it. So right click, extract audio stream, and then it'll extract one, two, and three. So on the first one, we have game, game audio, as you can hear. On the second one, we will have, I've pressed any, end, which is record for me. Yeah. Ready. Yeah, he's dead, don't worry, he's dead. So, and the third one would be your Skype audio or TeamSpeak audio, whatever you've set it to. I have pressed it too. <laughs> okay. Okay, Nathan. And if you're using Sony Vegas, you can just literally drag and drop this in, I think. Um, I've heard it just works. You just drag and drop it in. But I use Adobe Premiere. So let me load, load up that. Okay, so here it all is in Adobe Premiere. When you import it, it will import channel one with you. So it put the video in and it will just be that, but that's just got the game audio. Um, so you'll have to import the other, you know, the other two or just import them all separately. So easy enough, just drag and drop like that. But it will take a while to build the peak files because if, depending on how big the file is. And then you have basically everything on a separate channel and you can edit it how you please which allows for the best audio quality ever because you can just literally do whatever you like so I hope this has helped you uh, if anything goes wrong let me know and I'll try to fix it but this is the easiest way I've found without causing extreme uh, sound lag by you know like a second or even 200 milliseconds or anything like that and it doesn't involve like faffing about with line out, line in, using a separate computer. It is all done on one station and 
it is very convenient to have things going through both your headset and your speakers. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.